Hello everyone, welcome to my next makeup tutorial. If you would like to know how I created this burnt orange halo eyeshadow look, then let's begin. I'll prime my face with Kat Von D featherweight primer and minimize my pores with this um, pore filler. And this foundation combo has been my favorite for the past month or so. I'll just mix equal parts of MAC's uh, Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC20 and ST Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Fresco. And then I use Sigma Angle Top Kabuki F84 brush to apply it in. I'll use NYX Wonders Thick and Light Medium. And I'll just contour my temples, cheekbones, nose and jawline. I'm also going to use a dual fiber brush to blend it all out. And I'll use a regular flat foundation brush to contour my nose. I applied Benefit's Stay Down Straight Concealer Primer to prevent my under eye concealer from creasing. And then I used Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 to highlight the highest points of my face and a tiny little beauty blender to blend it all out. Just don't forget that you have to use your beauty blender's wet so that they don't soak up any actual product. To set my concealer, I took Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and then I mattified the rest of my face with Too Faced Cocoa Powder. After that, I used this Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light to brighten up my under eye area even more. I just love that really bright highlight lately. And to emphasize that contour even more, I used Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and just swiped it everywhere where I previously cream contoured my face so it's cheekbones, nose, jawline and temples and anywhere else where you feel like you need to contour Alright, so I'll quickly fill my brows with Fling Eyebrow Pencil from MAC and this step takes the longest, so I'll make a separate brow tutorial in future. Here I just used um, tinted brow gel to set them in place. And for my eyes I applied Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC as my base. And my transition crease shade will be Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. I'll use all of Makeup Geek eyeshadows today. So I'll just blend it with a huge fluffy brush. And then I'll take this shade called Creme Brulee and darken up my crease with a pencil shaped brush.
And for the uh, center of my lid, I'll apply this pigment sticky base. And then on top of that goes this beautiful iridescent pigment, which is called Insomnia. And I'll just apply it all over that movable part of my lid. After that, I took this Cocoa Bear shade and intensified my crease color so it really looks like burnt orange. I'll just keep it very rounded like so. And I'll also drag it to my lower lash line to bring it all together. And of course, I'll go over with those previous brushes and blend it all out. To achieve that halo effect, I'll take my highlighter and pop it to the very center of my lid. And then I'll curl my lashes, apply mascara and some falsies. These ones are max number 35, I guess. For my cheeks, I'll use Max Melba blush and again my Mary Luminizer for that glow. I'll keep my lips pretty simple, so I'll apply this nude color, which is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens, and just set my makeup with this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that's it for this look, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did then hit the thumbs up and subscribe and until next time check out some of my previous videos. Thank you for watching and bye!